Welcome to the Software Architecture Warehouse demonstration submitted to the tool track of Wixa 2012. The Software Architecture Warehouse is a tool developed at the University of Lugano. It helps individual architects in keeping track of their design decisions as well as empowers teams of architects to efficiently collaborate during design workshops. To get started, let me introduce the design model which we are going to use in this demo. It comprises design issues and design alternatives. Reusable design issues are grouped within the projects. Individual user judgments are represented as decisions over design alternatives. These judgments can be negative, positive or open. With positive decisions, architect remarks alternatives acceptable in the context of the given issue. Negative decisions are used to mark rejected alternatives. The scenario which we are going to follow includes a software architect facing the Greenfield project that should combine experience of the projects carried out in the past. To begin using the tool, the architect must sign in and select desired project. As this is a Greenfield project, we are presented an empty design space. In her first steps, the architect preparing the design workshop browses through the decision repository in order to elicit design issues relevant for the project. Browsing can be done using a variety of cross-cutting tags, for example tags about problem space, project phase or designer role. Filtered list of design issues is displayed on the left side of the view. For each individual design issue, attributes, tags and design alternatives can be inspected in detail. Elicited issues are immediately made available in the project space for all members of the design team. As far as solitary capture and reuse of architectural design decisions is very valuable for the design, the true potential of software architecture warehouse is demonstrated when the tool is used to support collaborative brainstorming. In the project summary view, the architect captures the design issue and adds design alternatives. So, instantly propagates changes to other design team members. Others can readily contribute their design alternatives, which are immediately distributed through the team. This way, no aspect of decision discussion escapes the notice. A set of alternatives can be brainstormed quickly and efficiently collect contributors from all designers. With issues and alternatives in place, decision making is the next step. On the right side of the project overview, we find red, green and blue buttons for making positive, negative and open decisions respectively. Color-coded highlight indicates that decisions over the alternative are consistent. Gray highlight indicates decision conflict. And in most of the cases, a conclusive state of the design issue is reached when there is exactly one alternative with positive decisions and all other alternatives are discarded with negative decisions. In the time when architect makes decisions, new items as well as decisions can be contributed by other team members. A decision conflict occurs when designers make contradicting decisions over a particular design alternative. Decision conflict can be inspected in detail in the issue details view. In this view, next to the detailed description of each alternative, there is a list of individual judgments and rationals. Focused on this view, designers are discussing their positions and reaching consensus. Focusing attention of the design team can be a challenge both for collocated and distributed teams. So, eases this task by providing visual clues, such as highlights and icons, to indicate how much user's focus is given to a particular design issue or alternative. Design progress monitoring is an important project management aspect. So provides a dynamically updating project summary view displaying decision status for every design issue within the project. Each design issue lists related alternatives together with their individual decision status. This view can be displayed with an overhead projector during the workshop to improve shared understanding of the design process. Finally, SO provides the design team with minutes alike printable workshop report containing all the details on issues, alternatives and decisions together with their rational. This kind of summary is a great asset to prepare for the next iteration of the workshop. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit our project website and give a try to the online demo of Software Architecture Warehouse.